So we have seen under the heading of photochemistry that uh, the basic theory of photochemical processes. In that video, we have seen that the molecule is excited, electronically excited and the electronically excited molecule may have two steps. One is either singlet state or another is triplet state. So that we are going to discuss in this video. What happened? Uh, we have discussed in previous video that the organic molecule, organic molecule when irradiated with light of certain wavelength can undergo either n to pi star transition or pi to pi star transition. Then that molecule is called molecule in excited state. So what actually happens during that excitation that is given here in this diagram. Now see in organic molecules all electrons are paired. If all electrons are paired in the ground state that is called singlet state. So this is a singlet state. Why this is called singlet the answer is given here. How the spin multiplicity we can calculate by using a formula 2s plus 1 where s is total spin. Now in ground state both electrons are paired that means one electron having spin plus 1 and another electron is having spin minus, minus half. First one sorry first one is having plus half and another one is having minus half. So when you add these two values together the total spin becomes zero. So if you put that value zero here in this formula you get a spin multiplicity one and because of that one we call it as a singlet state. So this is a singlet ground state. When light energy is absorbed one electron is excited in the excited state. One electron is excited. So there are two possibilities. When the excited electron retains its spin that means no change in spin this electron having spin plus half and this electron having spin minus half the spin is retained which was in the ground state that is still maintained in the excited state so by this calculation the spin multiplicity is one so this is a singlet state again but this is not a ground state because molecule is in excited state so this is called excited singlet state that is given A the calculations are given here another possibility is the excited electron may change its spin now both electrons electron in the ground state and electron in the excited having same spin so that space, same spin means plus half and plus half when you add that spin we get here a total spin and that total spin is A1. Now when you put that value in spin multiplicity, you get here spin multiplicity 3. Because of that, that triplet word is coming. So this is a triplet state. So after excitation, electron of the molecule, we get singlet state and the triplet state. So every singlet state, there is a corresponding triplet state. Say for example, if S1 is there, then T1 is there. If S2 is there, T2 is there. If S3 is there and T3 is there, that is the meaning of this sentence. So triplet state has little lower energy because there is no interaction between the electron. So because of this, energy is little lower as I have shown here. So that also you must remember. Another thing you can add here, since both electron having, uh, both unpaired electrons are there, so in singlet, uh, triplet state, this is a paramagnetic and the singlet state is a diamagnetic in nature. So this much information is sufficient for the singlet and triplet state. Thank you.